guys. God, this is so embarrassing. Hey guys, I'm trying too hard. <laughs> so we're gonna do a holiday outfits video today and I'm doing a collab with Earth or Nothing and she's gonna be making a video on her winter haul collection. So check that out after you're done with this video. Cool. I don't know, why did I say cool like that? You know how you're like the hardest on yourself when you say something stupid but no one else remembers how stupid you sound because they're so busy thinking about how stupid they sound? Like that's how I'm, I'm feeling right now. <laughs> Before we start, please like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope this inspires you guys for your holiday events and I hope you guys have a merry, thankful, partying life. I don't even know. Okay, this is a side story, whatever. I was gonna go to Goodwill to find more festive stuff because I don't believe in festive things. I always think if you're not gonna wear it year round, what's the point of buying something festive? It's too special. I'm like kind of minimalist in that way where I don't want to buy more crap that I would only wear once. Christmas, I'm just like, whatever, I can pull from something together. So I went to Goodwill because I was like, I'm filming something for YouTube. Maybe I should get something festive. And then I found nothing. <laughs> so then I was like, well, why do I need to buy anything? And I hate that on YouTube, you feel the need to always buy more because like you're basically not enough. So anything you have is not enough. So new is always better. But that doesn't have to be the case. So I came home and I was like, you know what? I'm adamant. I will find something in my closet. I have a gazillion things. I'm pretty sure I can whip something up. So I hope you guys enjoy. I hope even if it's not super festive, you guys will be inspired to wear something like this and that you don't need to go out to buy new shit so that you have something to wear to an event for the holidays because the holidays is really more about getting together, seeing your friends and your family and appreciating the time you have together, especially now that, you know, with COVID and the pandemic, it was much harder to do. So I guess I'm saying that it's not about what you look like though that is why you're here. So I kind of want you to stay and I will backtrack back to it is what you look like. That is the most important thing. <laughs> it's not though. <laughs> so we should start with my Thanksgiving outfits. So I have a few Thanksgiving outfits. The first one is so cute. I know everyone says so cute. I don't fucking care. It's a good word to use. <laughs> I'm actually wearing like a poncho in this and I'm wearing pants that are really tight. And so I wanted to wear something on top that was like more like forgiving so that even though the pants are tight if you're expanding because it's Thanksgiving and you're eating a ton da, 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 you won't feel so bad about expanding because you're wearing a poncho so that's what I was wearing I really like the poncho I like that there's frills on the side of the poncho and it's this really beautiful cream color it has this beautiful like cow neck design and I'm pairing it with my Marc Jacob heels, pumps, they're beige pumps, and my Pauline beige purse. I do this in most of my videos where I only wear two shoes and two purses and it really works with everything and you don't need to buy more shit. Or I'm trying really hard not to buy more shit too because I feel like a recession is coming. My husband's company just fired like 50 people. There's only 400 people in that company. But it's really scary. Like these times are really scary. So I'm trying really hard to refrain from buying more stuff. So anyways, that's just a little thing about my life that's miserable. Anyways, whose life isn't miserable though? Come on. <laughs> Yeah, so I really like this outfit. I think it's great because it's it has all the fall themes, but it's like more subtle, like it's all in the pants. And these rich browns and creams and blacks in the pants itself, and it just kind of looks really cool. And I really like wearing ponchos these days. I feel like it's very soft. It reminds me of like being hugged by a blanket. It's kind of like those Snuggies, but like cuter than a Snuggie. I miss those. Those were the bomb. I kind of want to buy one, but I have the poncho. So the poncho will be my Snuggie substitute. Next outfit. So I'm wearing this cinnamon colored jumpsuit. And I love this jumpsuit. I've had this for years. I wear it to a lot of events where I want to look chic and like beautiful and sexy, I guess. I'm wearing it with this rich cinnamony. I love rocking the same color on the same color. My cat wants to come in. This cinnamon jumpsuit looks really great with this cinnamon coat. I think I got it from Nordstrom Rack and I just love the color. I love the inlay of the, the cinnamon coat. I think the coat has this shiny cinnamony color as well that like complements the cinnamon on the outside. And then I love rolling up the sleeves because it doesn't fit me super properly. It's really long and I think rolling up sleeves looks very fitted and beautiful and chic and cool kind of. Um, it's just the little things that really make the outfit really amazing. And I'm pairing it with same beige shoes and purse because if your purse and your shoes match and your whole outfit kind of matches then it balances and it looks great together. See I'm showing you that I can rock it with the black as well so I'm wearing the black 
pumps with the black purse. It still looks really great. I think something about cinnamon and browns really look great with black or beige. Okay, there's two things for Christmas bucket. The first one, I'm wearing khaki pants that are caprice, khaki caprice pants, whatever, with this really, I think this is the most seasonal sweater I have, and it has like all these beautiful knots going through it. It just looks so festive. I love the structure of this sweater because the sweater has these sleeves that come out slightly and the sweater also tapers out slightly, and it just kind of looks like whimsical and different from any normal beige Christmas sweater. You know the type of Christmas sweater I'm talking about? Not that I don't like those sweaters, I actually love those sweaters too. But I think something about this sweater just looks so different, you know, because it's it's just slightly different too. Like it has these bell sleeves and then they have the, the sweater coming out like that. And so I thought that looked really sweet with some sneakers. I feel like Sometimes it's just nice to go to an event where like you're at a party but it's all your friends and family members and yeah you want to look cute but you also want to be comfortable because well I'm a mom so I would I probably end up wearing something like sneakers or I'm not wearing heels you know I won't be chilling and just drinking I'd be running around and drinking <laughs> But um, what I love about this outfit is that you can wear it like just by itself, but then if you're in a colder climate, you can wear this teddy coat, which I love. I can't wait to wear it. I bought it sometime in the summer. It was from Mango, but I think I got it on ThreadUp, and, and it's just the most comfortable looking teddy bear kind of coat that you'll ever see, or I love it. And I'm pairing it with these mittens, and I love mittens. Like, I didn't know, because I'm from California, gloves don't work. <laughs> gloves do not work in the winter. Mittens work the best in the winter, and they're so cute. So these actually have a string that connects them, so you can hang them over your shoulder. Very convenient. It's just so cool. Like, I don't, I didn't know that I didn't know <laughs> anything about winter because why would I need to? But if you guys live in a colder climate, I'm sure you guys are like, no shit, no shit Sherlock. Yeah, I think they look really cute. I think they're not only cute, they're useful, <laughs> they're practical, and I think it just rocks really well with the teddy coat because it's just like so comfy and cozy and I totally would wear this to a Christmas party or something like that. Okay, next one. So this is like a SoCal look. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Because you show your ankles, there's this off the shoulder number, and it's just like something you can only wear in SoCal, but whatever, that's where I live. So this is the climate I dress for. Okay, so I'm rocking the same sneakers with these white straight leg pants. They're kind of wide leg, they're kind of straight leg. I don't know what they are, but they're like jeans, and they didn't fit me properly, so I decided to create another hole and put the button through that hole. Works fine. I feel like a lot of Xennials are also all about thrifting and like tailoring old clothes to work for their body. And then it doesn't matter that it looks kind of raggedy or like it doesn't look perfect. Like it's like about reusing. And I think the message is very, very sweet. I think it's like it's nice that we're all trying to reuse and, and consume less or you know, like just like repurpose and do with what we have. So, I mean, that's great with relationships too, I swear. Like, I, I feel like a lot of people back then or still now, like, the divorce rate is so high. It's like two thirds now. It's not even 50%. You don't have a 50-50 shot of divorcing the person you're going down the aisle with today. You have a two and three shot of divorcing them, and that's terrible. I feel like this is very symbolic that if you can fix your clothes, like clothes that do not fit properly, you know, like almost fits but doesn't almost fit, if you can fix your clothes and appreciate them still and like accept that there's imperfections and like, Da, 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 and you like don't want to just throw it away. It's kind of symbolic that maybe your relationship with your significant other will also last. I'm reaching for sure, but <laughs> I kind of think that's kind of true. Like if you're not always willing to just throw away, get a new thing, da, 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 then the way you problem solve is more about trying to fix the problem and fix what's like slightly off about the relationship or fix what's slightly off about your clothing, then maybe you have a better chance of not getting divorced when you're older. <laughs> Okay, so I'm pairing these jeans with this Abercrombie and Finch top that's like off the shoulder. It's really beautiful. It has this beautiful strap, this heavier strap on the top. And I like this top. It's really tight forming. I feel like Abercrombie and Finch is always so tight forming. I don't know why. Maybe I have to go up a size or something. But because it's so very fitting on the top, I wanted to pair it with some jeans that were less. It's not fit snug on my leg. And something about like ankle cut pants is the most awkward kind of pants we have. There's these other pants that I'll show you later that are also really awkward cutting. I feel like today these fashions is all about rocking really uncomfortably cut pants. 
So I don't really know if it really works with the sneakers, but I think a lot of Xenials also wear it like this, and I think it looks okay. So I'm rocking it like that. Sometimes I think, yeah, it might not look perfect, doesn't look 100%. Perfect, but I'm also like it's good enough. Like if it doesn't look great, the fact that I feel great in it is good enough for me, you know? Because it's all about what you feel in the end. It's not really about if it looks great or not. It's just about if you love what you feel like in your clothing. Okay, so that was the only two Christmas things. Okay, New Year's. So these are the pants that I was talking about. They are pleather pants. They cut off at my knee. <laughs> I know, like, sometimes I see people who wear pants that are cut off by the thigh, like the mid, they're cutting off their jeans and like, and like at that length, and I'm just like, I don't know if that looks good guys, but whatever. So I thought the right below the knee, I can rock. I feel like it is different and it is awkward, but I can rock this. So, wearing pumps is a nice shape because it kind of elongates your leg, but you can't wear these pants with like a boot or something like that. So I'm rocking these weird ass pants with this shiny silver top and I feel like New Year's Eve is really about bringing out the shine, bringing out the uh, the gold, the silver, whatever. It's barely shiny, but I didn't have anything shinier <laughs> to wear with it. It's a beautiful top, it's very sexy. I think one of my biggest things is that you should enunciate your best features and I think my best features is my abs. So if I can, I will wear midriff stuff. <laughs> and like, I also thought this top was not short enough so I had to like tuck it under so that it was a little bit more short. God, I'm just, ho is life man, ho is motherfucking life. I'm pairing it with these black pumps and this beautiful black purse. It's like a luxury purse. It's It looks like an accordion. I think it's super cute, very classy. I love crossbody purses. I think it really works with this outfit. I love that I'm wearing something that's like in that. I could probably still rock this in different seasons, like the pleather pants. I feel like the pleather pants might go out of season, but I think I would still wear it because like it's just black pants. Even if it was out of season, I feel like it's could be a staple. It could stay in my wardrobe. And it's so beautiful. It's high-waisted. I love high-waisted stuff. I think when you become a mom and you have a baby, even if you're skinny, when you get bloated, it looks like you have, you're kind of pregnant. No matter what, you always look pregnant again. So even when you're skinny. And so I love and I gravitate towards high-waisted stuff because it's just your body has changed so much. Like if you're like a woman and you're not pregnant or you've never been pregnant and you're not a mom, just something to look forward to. <laughs> oh, and then I'm, I'm rocking it with this blazer. It's from The Fifth. It's also thrifted from ThreadUp. And I just, I love this blazer. I feel like it's so hipster, it's so street, it's so like urban. And I like that urban look sometimes. I think it looks so cool. It looks like you live in a city. Next outfit is just basically the black pumps and the black purse with this green dress. I got this green dress for my aunt. She's amazing, I love her. And it's from originally from Zara. It kind of has like Vietnamese inspiredness in it because of the slits on the side. It's very like, it looks like an Aoyai. I personally love it because it looks like I am so vain. <laughs> If that makes sense. Um, in that, like, it looks like I'm trying to dress like I'm a celebrity, like I am a rapper or I am um, bigger than life. Like, that's not what I usually buy. I, if I saw this on a mannequin or in the store, I would just, like, have literally just went past it because I'm not the type to be like, I'm larger than life. Da, da, da. I have an inferior art, inferiority. God, it's so hard to communicate. What am I saying? Inferiority, inferiority, inferior. Inferiority. No, that's wrong. If you say something confidently enough, it might work. <laughs> Inferiority. No. It's not easy to be dyslexic and have like, I have enunciation problems too. Something's wrong with my brain for sure. Inferiority complex. Inferiority complex. Yes, I have an inferiority complex and <laughs> I would just literally drive or walk past this dress, but oh my god, this dress is so amazing. It's like, it does make me feel bigger because they have these beautiful shoulder pads and I love shoulder pads. I think it just makes you look so confident and so strong and so powerful. And also if you are pear shaped like I am, if you have broader shoulders, it actually balances out your pear shape a lot better. So I love sh shoulder pads. I mean, I barely wear them because again, I have an, I have a inferiority complex. That's what I have. <laughs> yeah, I 
wouldn't have picked this up, but I'm so glad my aunt sent this to me. I'm so glad she thought of me because I think it does look really nice. I, I guess you could wear this for Christmas. I don't know if I would because it kind of looks like pot. I don't think it looks festive. I think it looks like pot. <laughs> And I think it's more of a New Year's Eve party dress. Like if you're going to a club, if you're going to um, a rave, even like a house party where you know the people have like a sophisticated taste, I think you would look so good in this dress or something similar to it. Oh, last one. Oh, wait, the last one is this dress. So I got this dress actually last year from H&M around the holidays and this is definitely a sparkly dress and sparkly dress equals New Year's party. <laughs> At the time I was like I'm a mom now I can't dress super sexy da, 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 which is so stupid because you should just be who you are and dress how you like because you're gonna die someday and like if you want to feel sexy then fucking feel sexy who fucking cares like if you're older it doesn't fucking matter fuck anyone that doesn't do I agree I think sometimes it's appropriate to wear conservative stuff like you're going to work or if there's a bunch of young boys around but if it's not any of those situations then do you. Anyways going back so I love this dress it has these really interesting little frills on it like this fabric is so interesting and and so lovely and then it has these bell sleeves as well and I just think this dress is very like um, I'm going to a party and I'm gonna look chic and beautiful not sexy but like classy and like dreamy I think it's a very dreamy dress <laughs> And I, I love that they have like this bottom is it flares out slightly and it's like pillowed. I don't know what the word is. I honestly don't know. The whole dress is sheer, but it has this underlaying slip that it goes on as well. And I paired it with the beige pumps and this beige headband. I just, I love headbands. As a kid, I looked so cute in headbands. And then when I was an adult, I was like, I'm too old for headbands. But now I'm a mom and I'm like, why not? <laughs> why does it matter? What, what are these arbitrary rules that we set for ourselves just bring us pain for no reason? <laughs> So I was like, fuck that, I'm gonna wear headbands. I think sometimes I look the best in a headband. And it's so easy, you literally put it on, it gives you that poof, that volume that like I never have. It just works, like if you feel good in something, just wear it. What's like, there's no police that's gonna come and be like, hey, you're too old to wear that, okay? <laughs> I'm wearing it with these, this belt that I got from AliExpress. It's the silver belt. Um, I also got it in gold, but I, I wanted to rock the silver because it's like very dreamy. I was thinking I'm gonna go with a dreamy look and silver looks really dreamy with white it looks very like winter wonderland kind of feel that I was going for. Okay, I think that's it. <laughs> Thank God. Thank you so much for watching. Again, please like, comment, subscribe, and go to my friend's channel. Go to Earth or Nothing. She has great content. Check out her videos on the holidays as well. Okay, bye.